I sure hope Sister Barbara is okay. Sister Barbara said that she was going out to pick some herbs earlier, but I'm afraid that she has yet to return. Hmm. Perhaps I should report the matter to the Knights of Hephonius. You? Well, I guess as the honorary knight, you may very well be a good fit for the task. Not to mention, it would save me the trouble of reporting the matter to the knights. All right, I'll leave it to you. Before Sister Barbara departed, she said that she was headed to Wolvendom to pick some herbs. You could start by looking for her there. More speed. To worry, there hasn't been any sign of danger. I'm just here to gather some red wolf hook berries, that's all. But the strange thing is, there should be lots of them here, and I can't seem to find any. Hmm. Well, anyway, no need to worry about me. I'll just have another look around here, and if I can't find any, I'll just. Miss Barbara? Huh? She's not here either. Huh? Oh, somebody seems to be coming this way. Oh, I'm sorry, but please just keep quiet, okay? Don't let them find us. Because... Well, just because. Oh, all right. I'll just leave it to you then. Please just... Just don't tell them that I'm here, all right? The voice seemed to be coming from over there. Let's go take a closer look. Oh, Paimon remembers him. Barbara-sama, uh, are you here? Uh, who, me? Uh, uh well, I'm looking for Barbara-sama. I was originally planning to give her some herbs at the cathedral, but Sister Victoria told me she had gone out to attend to some matters. When I sought Barbara-sama for healing recently, she mentioned to me that the church was running low on certain medicine ingredients. I seem to remember the ingredient she mentioned, some type of red wolf hook berry. I figured she was most likely somewhere out here picking wolf hooks, so I thought I'd come and lend her a hand. Besides, as leader of the Barbara fan club, how could I ever let Barbara Sama go wandering alone in such a dangerous place? So I decided to come to Wolvendom looking for Barbara Sama and picking red wolf hooks along the way. That's right, and I'll take them back to the church shortly. After all, I am the leader of the Barbara Fan Club. It's my duty to make sure Barbara-sama's life's easier. Huh? But uh, judging from your expression, you've never heard of the Barbara Fan Club. I'm... Uh, uh, anyways, the Barbara Fan Club will have to wait for the moment. I'll fill you in on how great it is when I have time later. I must keep searching for Barbara-sama for now. <sighs> I don't really even know if Barbara Sama's anywhere around here. <sighs> you might be right. I should go back and gather more people to help with the search. Since Barbara Sama came here to pick those red wolf hooks, we could just follow the trail of those specific berries to lead us right to her. I heard it from Sister Victoria herself. She told me that she overheard another sister saying that Barbara Sama had come to Wolvendom to pick wolf hook berries. In fact, I could have sworn I heard Barbara-sama's voice when I came here. Uh, 
By the way, you didn't happen to see any sign of Barbasama when you arrived, did you? Uh, perhaps I was hearing things. Uh, you might be right. I haven't heard any sign of her since. Unless she's intentionally trying to avoid me. But she'd never have any reason to do that. Right. Hmm. Well, it seems that Barbasama may have already left the area. <sighs> All right, then. Barbasama must be somewhere else. Oh, but I still feel a bit worried. I'll go report the matter to Huffman and then have another look around the church. Here, you can have these red wolf hooks I picked earlier. There's no way I'd be able to carry them all back to the city. I'll take what I can to the church after I get back. <sighs> I just hope that Barbasama did indeed go back to the city. What is he doing here? <laughs> so... Is he gone now? Oh, thank you. Although... I guess I'm not being very polite towards him. Well, it's a little embarrassing to say, but in Mondstadt, I often perform songs for people. Because it's been so well received, the other sisters have started encouraging me to perform across Tivat. Now, more and more people are showing up to hear me perform. I'm happy to see such turnouts, don't get me wrong. But now, people always stop me on the street when I go shopping or... When I go out for personal matters, I know that all they want is to get my autograph or to ask me how I'm doing, which isn't a bad thing. And I'm very thankful for all my fans, but oh, there are simply too many of them. I always do my best to fulfill their requests and not let them down. But sometimes I feel that I just don't have the strength to do so. Even when I'm in the church, people will still come hoping to greet me. I'm constantly in a state of tension no matter where I go. The reason I came here was not only to find wolf hooks for making Tunner's cough medicine, but also to have some quiet time alone. Do you understand that feeling? To sit peacefully and not think about anything? Just by yourself? It's simply the feeling of relaxation. It's been far too long since I've had that feeling. Before I knew it, I was out here all day and forgot to return to the city. No, I couldn't find any. All well, the kind I'm looking for are red. I remember seeing them here before, but I've already searched the area and there aren't any. I wonder if someone had already picked them. No, people seldom come out here. Huh? Yes, those are the ones. And you found so many. These will be more than enough! But where did you... Oh my... Well, I've been far too impolite. Albert came all this way just to help me and I... But if I were to go and apologize to him, it would probably only make him feel even worse. Oh, I guess I'm still just too immature. Let's just head back to the city for now. I'll think of a way to make it up to Albert later. Well... I know. And you also know. And we mustn't forget that Barbados also knows. We certainly can't say that no one knows about this matter. Don't you think? And besides, as a deaconess, I could never simply ignore such a matter. I must take the appropriate actions and make things right. I'll see to that matter on my own. Anyway, the berries you have here will be just enough. We should get going. <laughs> Made it out of there. 
The Wolvendom Forest is a nice getaway to be alone for a while, but there's not much sunlight. If you stay in there for too long, you can't help but start feeling a little gloomy. A little sunlight always helps keep your spirits up. Ah, yes. Now that we're here, I'd like to go to Don Winery and check on Tunner's condition. I've told him before that he should take it easy and rest for a while, but he never seems to listen. He even told me not to let Guy know anything about it. I'd like to check on him before going back and deciding which medicine I'll need to make. Um, would it be possible to, well, you know, ask for your help again? If you could go back and report to Sister Victoria while I check on Tunner, oh, that would be a big help. She's most certainly worried about me after being away so long. And besides, there's a lot of matters I still need to take care of back at the cathedral. It would be better if I let her know the situation. Oh, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. More speed. Oh, you're back again. If you're looking for Sister Barbara, she's yet to return. Oh, I see. <sighs> Thank Barbados that she's all right. But it sounds like she won't be back anytime soon. Hmm. Perhaps I'll have to pass her responsibilities in the cathedral to someone else. Oh, well, that's most kind of you. I certainly wouldn't want to trouble you. Hmm. Let me think for a moment. Ah, yes, you could help tidy up around the cathedral a bit. People tend to bring dust in as they come into the cathedral, so the floor is often quite dirty. Cleaning and the like have always been Sister Barbara's responsibility. So the moment she's gone, everything starts getting dirty. Yes, that's right. She always said that she could handle it herself and that there's no need to ask anyone else to help her. But she does often appear quite exhausted after she's finished with the cleaning. To be honest, I'm most surprised that you are willing to help, or rather that Barbara is willing to let you help. However, this would help to lighten her burden. Anyway, I'll let you handle the cleaning for now, honorary knight. Do this all herself? I'm starting to think that Sister Victoria told me you already helped tidy up the cathedral. Thank you so much. I just returned a short while ago. I can't thank you enough for how much you've helped me today, both here in the cathedral and back in Wolvendom. You must be thirsty after so much work, no? How about I treat you to a drink? Oh! I've just remembered that the cat's tail is promoting a special drink recently. Miss Margaret said that the name of the drink is Fantastic Summer Serendipity Coral Sparkling Tea. <laughs> she also mentioned that it's her secret weapon to beating Angel's share in drink sales. Where it is that the drink's pretty good, but there's always a line to get it. We'll probably have to wait if we want some. If you'd rather not stand in line, I could make you a glass of my very own chili brew. Which would you like to drink? Coming right up! But I should warn you, the flavor is quite unique. I'm not sure how you'll handle it. Alright, let me think. To make this drink, we'll need some fresh Juyun chilies and sweet flowers. The key to a good batch of chili brew is not the quantity of ingredients, but the quality of ingredients. I know where to gather fresh Juyun chilies, but sweet flowers might be a bit tricky. Though they're easy to find, high-quality sweet flowers are few and far between. Oh, why don't we split up to search for ingredients? Once we've found the ingredients we need, we can meet up just south of the Whispering Woods. <sighs> All right. 
right. I'll head to the Whispering Woods to gather sweet flowers while you go search for Julia and Chilies around Stone Gate. Oh, and by the way, even though I've already requested a half day's leave from Sister Victoria, she always insists that I still give her my itinerary for any trips I take. While I head over to the Whispering Woods, could you please check in with Sister Victoria and let her know where I will be? Yes, my child? Oh? Sister Barbara wishes to go to the Whispering Woods to pick herbs. I see. In fact, Sister Barbara just requested a half day's leave to go meet a friend. Now she suddenly intends to go herb picking? I'm sure Sister Barbara has her reasons. Will you be accompanying her? Ah, <sighs> I trust she will be in good hands then. Please take good care of Sister Barbara, honorary knight. Well, as you may already know, Sister Barbara is quite popular in Mondstadt for several reasons. Although the citizens here may only be acting out of good intention, there are too many of them, and Sister Barbara can't handle it all. If they appear while she is working here at the church, we can come and intervene. But if she's approached by fans during her time off, then she can only fend for herself. And not to mention, she's too... kind. She'll always try to fulfill the requests of the citizens of Mondstadt, even when it takes a heavy toll and leaves her more exhausted than actual working hours. So with that in mind, we thought we'd have Sister Barbara always tell us where she'd be, just in case we need to come rescue her from the crowds. My hope is that Sister Barbara stops pushing herself so hard. Excellent. All right, Paimon can feel the spices. <laughs>
the Whispering Woods and find Barbara. This seems like the right place, but Barbara isn't here. Well, let's wait here a while. She'll probably be back soon. <sighs> it's been ages. Where in Tevat did she go? Paimon's worried too. Barbara should have been back by now. She said she wanted to go to the Whispering Woods and pick sweet flowers. Let's head over there. Either. Where the heck is she already? <sighs> Let's look further up ahead. Wait, that's Barbara. How did you two? Oh, quickly, this way. Try not to make a sound. Oh, I'm so sorry. I ran into something unexpected. Oh, there's no heading back now. Long story short, I was picking sweet flowers and suddenly a group of treasure hoarders appeared. They'd seized a merchant of some kind and were pushing her around. It sounded like they were demanding money from her. I took cover right away, but I've been trailing them ever since. I guess they were too caught up with the merchant to notice me. I followed them this far, but it seemed like they knew somebody was following them. So I didn't go any further. Don't worry about me. They're only treasure hoarders after all. Anyway, I've got a vision. It's enough to protect myself. As for the person they seized, they might be in danger. That's why I was secretly trailing them. I thought of getting the knights involved, but I was worried it would take too long. What if the treasure hoarders did something terrible while I was gone? I was trying to think of some way of rescuing the merchant when you showed up. So, honorary night, maybe you could, uh... Yay! I'll leave it to you, honorary night. I'll handle the aftercare. Who dares enter our territory? <laughs> Another test subject. Release your hostage immediately! <laughs> so you want to play the hero? Porters, seize the girl. Let's see if this idiot with her dares make a move. Oh no, they're going after Barbara. We've got to... Don't worry about me. I'm a vision bearer after all. I'll handle these guys. You go rescue the merchant. She's got a vision. Boss, what should we do? What are you scared of? She's just a girl. So what if she's got a vision? There are more of us. Quit stalling and get her! Vengeance will be mine! Eye for an eye! The odds are against us! Huh? Should yeah. replace my hammer. More speed. The wrong test subject. Thank you. I, I can't express my gratitude. I'm a merchant, Falua. I, I was on my way to Mondstadt. I had no idea there were treasure hoarders on the road. They seized me and brought me here. If it weren't for you, gods know what would have happened to me. Oh, <laughs> please allow me to repay your kindness. The treasure hoarders already made off with most of my things, but let me see here. Um. So, there are still a few bottles of chili brew, a few sweet flowers, and here's some aura. No, 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 we don't need a reward. Rescuing those in need is only natural. Besides, I'm the deaconess of the Church of Favonius, and this is the Knights of Favonius Honorary Knight. As a visitor from Liyue, we have a duty to guard your safety. I won't hear of it. You rescued me. It's only right that your kindness is repaid. 
I'm afraid I have nothing of great value to offer, but please choose what you like. Um, okay. I just don't know what to choose. Leo at Chili Brew might be delicious, but with those sweet flowers, I'd have enough ingredients to make my own. I know. You have way more adventuring experience than me. You'll be better at this. You choose. What do you think is the most fitting reward? Yes, adventurers are savvy when it comes to rewards. What'll it be? Leo's famous chili brew, sweet flowers, or Mora? Really? Sweet flowers and a chili brew? I guess it's all chili brew at the end of the day, but the Mondstadt version sure sounds interesting. Sweet flowers it is. These are an excellent batch. <laughs> Thanks again for your help. I better get moving. These sweet flowers look fantastic. And now we've finally got all the ingredients we need for the chili brew. Let's get back to Mondstadt. When we're inside the city, why don't you wait for me in the garden next to the Adventurer's Guild? When the chili brew is ready, I'll bring it straight over. for the delay. The chili brew's ready. Why don't we drink these here? Here. This one is for you. Let me know what you think. Really? Is the flavor okay for you? I was worried you might not like it. Well, I like chili brew because... Uh, oh, actually, it's a little embarrassing. At first, I drank chili brew just to keep me awake. When I first began singing practice, I had to get up early every day. After practice, I would go to work at the church to take care of official matters. But because I was getting up so early, my singing wasn't getting any better. Sometimes I'd be half asleep singing the wrong lyrics. It was a disaster. I went to people for advice on how to stay awake. They had all kinds of methods. Running, chewing mint, one adventurer even told me that they'd fight slimes to stave off sleep. None of those ideas worked for me. They were too time-consuming. By the time I started to feel awake, there was hardly any time left for practice. <laughs> that was until I started chewing chewy and chilies. <laughs> That's what Sarah said. She told me not to chew them, but to use the Julian chilies to make some kind of drink, something milder in flavor. Using sweet flowers to temper the flavor was also her idea. That's when I started using this new and improved chili brew method. After a while, I actually started to enjoy the flavor. Whenever I drank it, the spiciness would always push me to work harder. I don't know what to say. My determination is nothing compared to yours. I heard Amber say that you're traveling far and wide looking for your sibling. Is that true? Oh, the things you've faced, and those yet to come, are more difficult than a few bad songs. Even if I can't assist you in other ways, when it comes to healing, you can count on me. No matter the wound, I will help you recover. Oh, have I said too much? Sorry. I'm not used to taking a break. I keep boring you to death. It's not often I get so much freedom. Let's just take our time and drink our drinks. Tomorrow, it's back to chasing our dreams with hard work. I hope our dreams can come true in the end. <laughs> 